appreciate time. Everyone talks about the young princes, kings, whatever you want to call them at 135, who don't step into the ring against one another. But here at 130, there's champions who want to fight. Who do you want to fight? I mean, there's, there's only one fight left at the end of the day. It's the biggest fight in the division. Um, Oscar can't keep ducking. It's time for him to fight. It's me versus Oscar Valdez. There's nothing else to uh, look forward to. The 130-pound division, we need to unify. Let's get it. Those are the words of Shakur Stevenson as he calls out Oscar Valdez and he states that you can't keep ducking me. Let me counterpunch. Um, I don't know after seeing that particular performance that Oscar Valdez would want that. Okay, I think looking at his performance against um, Consensao and Shakur's uh, performance against Herring, I think he was going to keep doing exactly what Shakur Stevenson said that he's doing, ducking. Because, you know, um, one thing, if I'm Shakur Stevenson, is to make sure that he's clean, make sure he's not drinking any, any of his tea, make sure, you know, everything is on the up and up. Because some of these fighters, as we've seen, and this is the first time that I've ever seen someone test positive for something and not and still be granted to fight. So, given what we see, giving this reality, I feel that Shakur Stevenson should make him enroll, which I believe he is um, enrolled in the um, clean boxing program or whatever, you know. But if he does test positive, don't fight him. Because if he's not, if they're not accountable for his own wrongdoings, why do you even have rules to follow? You know, um, I think it would be a good fight. I think Oscar Valdez would give Shakur a better fight because he's more versatile. He's younger. You know, he has an influence. But most importantly, he has a backing. You know, the Reynoso's gym, Eddie Reynoso himself has just been uh, awarded like trainer of the year or something like that. So, you know, that's politics now. So it becomes political. And if Oscar Valdez, I think if they if that fight happens, I think it's going to be up to the decision of the trainer as well as the um, promoter. So if Valdez wants it and they feel they can win against Shakur Stevenson, the fight will be made. If they don't think they can win and they think it will affect the overall status of the gym and trainer, they probably won't take that fight and they'll keep ducking. Would I want to see the fight? Of course. But this is boxing, the sport that I love that I hate so much. So you're not always going to get the fights that you want. That's the reality of it. Um, I hope Oscar responds. If he doesn't, expect what you expect. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Shakur Stevenson calling out Oscar Valdez. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.